It's your girl, Destiny, and it's time to rise and shine. This video is for all my nature lovers who like to breathe in that good-ass prana baby, Ralph Smart. What we're going to dive deep into today is a mindset shift around the topic of mountains. Mountains can be seen two different ways. The first is an obstacle to be overcome. The second is an opportunity to experience. Do you feel the difference? The mountain is the same thing, but your perception of it changes how you will approach it. If it feels like an obstacle to overcome, you'll likely dread it, it'll feel heavy, you'll procrastinate and push it as far out into the future as possible. Even when you finally face it, whether by choice or life puts you between a rock and a hard place, you'll feel anxious. You might even freeze up like an actor with stage fright, absolutely paralyzed. And if you manage to get through it, you feel exhausted, drained, terrified of the never ending series of mountains. There seems to be no point in continuing. Phew, that got kind of dark. All right. But instead, if we look at this mountain as an opportunity to experience, we find meaning, not only in the mountain itself, but in the journey of interacting with it. Personally, starting a business was a major obstacle of a mountain for me. Whenever I told myself I would start, I would be intimidated. What am I even good enough at to have a business around? Am I responsible enough? Will I really make any money? Please do not get me started on the taxes. I watched every YouTube video, Googled every article, and did everything mm, except actually start a business. I hated when my friends asked me how my business was going. I continued to procrastinate and call it research. Oh, I'm still learning, you know, so I'll be prepared. One day a friend asked, why don't you just try? Won't you learn more from trying? What does your knowledge mean if you don't put it into practice? Mm. I wish that I could say my response was, oh, thanks for the great advice. But of course, I didn't. My Jedi mind tricks were being exposed, naked and vulnerable. I told them I'd do it when I'm ready. So just how long did it take me to get ready? About three years. Yep, three years. Imagine where I could have been if I started sooner. What about you? What mountains are you avoiding? The real question is, how long are you going to delay your own growth? If you're afraid, it's okay. Acknowledge it. Make your intentions clear that you're ready to work through your fears. In the next video, we'll do a journal exercise to help you identify and get over your mountains. To give you a quick preview, the first step will be identification, writing down what our mountains are. Step two will be a current assessment. Where are we in proximity to that mountain? Step three is gonna be the goal. It doesn't have to be anything as big as starting a business. It could just simply be working out every day. Next, we'll outline the obstacles or roadblocks that are preventing you from overcoming. Now comes the fun part. We're going to think of solutions. It's time to put your thinking cap on and do the noodle dance. Shout out to legendary CST. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for joining me. I wish us all a happy and prosperous new year. Don't forget, sunsets always turn into sunrises. <laughs>